This newsreel is being drawn to you by Hutch Pool and Spa. And not only is 13-year-old homeschool student Savannah Eller the top winner for the statewide Farm Bureau Agriculture Essay Contest, but she's also a scientist. I'm going to let Savannah tell you all about her recent science project uh, in her own words. Uh, the video you're about to see was produced by a friend of hers who is uh, Josh Hall. He's a senior, or actually was a senior, he's recently graduated from Friendship Christian School. He has now moved on to owning and running his own video production company. After you watch the following video, I think you'll understand why. Hi, my name's Savannah Eller and I'm 13 years old. I have a brother and sister and I live in rural Tennessee, Robertson County. My hobbies are karate, music, and science. I also like to read. I've had a passion for science and physics in particular since I was three years old. What inspires me about science is science can change the world for better. Last summer my brother dropped his breakfast bar wrapper on the air return and somehow it started spinning for days and I wanted to figure out why it was spinning so efficiently. First I took precise measurements of the propeller and I figured out that it had several edges. So I did some historical research and I found that multi-edge airfoils perform better and have greater efficiency and maneuverability than normal fixed wing airplanes. Case in point being the Red Baron, you'll see that there were not one wing, but four. The thing that made the Red Baron's plane more maneuverable was the fourth wing at the very back that created another angle and therefore it made him create greater lift. Using that, I calculated the coefficient of performance because the most important aspect of my project was calculating the efficiency because if my rotor was extremely efficient, then that would tell me that it was a viable design for commercial rotors and impellers and propellers. I used a laser tachometer to find the exact RPM. Looking for calculations that could describe my rotor design performance, I concluded that the coefficient of performance equation used to analyze commercial wind turbines was a nice fit and could be manipulated to study my mechanical parameters. I built a wind tunnel so I could control several parameters. The first parameter being CFM, cubic feet per minute, which I didn't have on the air return. I didn't know how fast the wind was moving across my rotor, which was important in some of my calculations and testing. What I found from this experiment was that as air is pulled down across the top edge, low pressure forms under the flap. And as the flap curve deepens, more pull is exerted on the root side and less is applied to the distal end. A rotational acceleration is observed. The efficiency achieved was remarkable. In a comprehensive comparison to existing rotor designs, the prototype exceeded current market standard offerings for efficiency. I got special permission to use NASA online research software to analyze my rotor, and it's used for analyzing rotor designs. My rotor design is important because it has global implications. I believe that it has applications, real applications, in farming, airfoil designs, energy from wind, wind turbines, and water pumps, among many other things. It has the potential to improve clean water production in developing countries. Greater efficiencies were achieved with reductions in size. I made a visual representation of the RPMs of each of my prototypes. I started this project about a year ago, and I've spent countless hours on it, hundreds of hours, and it's been really interesting. I've learned about my project, but also I've learned about the need for a new rotor design in the world. And now I'm acutely aware of the need for clean energy here and throughout the world. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. As you can see, Savannah Eller is quite a young lady, and Josh Hall clearly has a career ahead of him in video production. I'm going to put a link to Josh's uh, website below, so if you're ever in the need of a video uh, production service or company, then uh, you can certainly find him there. This has been Jim Ball reporting for Smoky Barn News. Looking for summer fun the whole family can enjoy together? Why not your very own pool or spa? For over 35 years, Hutch Pool and Spa has served Middle Tennessee and Southern Middle Kentucky with a selection of pool and spa supplies that will boggle the mind. Whether it's an in-ground or above-ground pool, Hutch Pool and Spa can make your dream of ownership 
of reality. We have two locations in Robertson County to serve your needs. Look for a link to our Facebook page below this video.